What's up guys, I'm KBJ and today I'm going to show you how to install a hard drive into your QNAP device. So it's pretty straightforward. You basically take your hard drive, make sure you don't have any static electricity because you don't want to mess up any of your devices. Take your hard drive, open it up. Right here I have a Seagate NAS drive. I'll be using these drives to fully populate the NAS. These are special NAS drives and they're made and optimized for longer term performance to work within a NAS. So I'm going to take out this caddy. Take the hard drive. On the bottom of your hard drive you should have some screw holes. If you're installing mechanical hard drives like I will be for my NAS, you're going to use these silver screws. They give you these black screws to use if you're installing SSDs. And basically the top is showing what you'll do for an SSD and the bottom is showing what you'll do for a mechanical hard drive. And you want to look and make sure that your hard drive will line up with the ports inside before you screw it in. You want to make sure you're doing it the right way. You can really only do it one way, but just in case. But it's definitely good to use all the screws because that'll help with vibration. Vibration's not good for hard drives, mechanical hard drives specifically. So you'll want to make sure you have it as secure as possible. If you're using SSD drives and you got this NAS or another NAS, one thing you're gonna wanna check for is to see if that SSD drive comes with an adapter because you may need an adapter to install your SSD, but you may not. It really just depends on how your SSD is designed. It's just something you're gonna to wanna to check. It does look like they have the screw holes for this, so you should need an, ad an adapter, but just in case, just make sure. So there we go, I have the four screws installed here in the bottom and straight above at the top and i'm just going to pop this open make sure it looks good with the ports carefully slide it in and it's going to click right in just like that there we go if you take out your hard drive if you need to you just pop it up like this and give it a pull and it'll come out out in. It looks like it does better if you actually push it in at the bottom and then just lock it like that. So that's how you do it. Please check out the links below I have where I show you everything I use to create my NAS. It has the different hard drives I got. They're special NAS drives that you're going to want to use for your NAS. I'm also going to have a link to the memory that I use to give this NAS 16 gigabytes of RAM and I'll have a link to this exact NAS, which is a great price for everything that it does. And if you use those links, I will get a few pennies on the dollar, but it definitely helps me out for all the work it takes to make a video. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from our channel. And thank you so much. And comment down below if you have any questions. I'd love to try to answer them for you and have a great day.